Bonjour everyone! I am Yan, your favorite friendly Frenchman, and welcome to this new Baguette Plays on Sable. So Sable is a game that I haven't heard a lot about, it's not a game that is very well known, however, this is a game that totally... Oh my god, they're singing as well! Hello! <laughs> um, I hope this is not copyrighted, by the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, this is a game that is absolutely beautiful, that looks like a um, Mobius comic book. Uh, so Mobius is a uh, French artist who used to work on comic books before he passed away uh, uh, a few years ago, I think. Uh, yeah, ma maybe, maybe even sooner. So anyway, th this game just looks absolutely beautiful and I really can't wait to have a beautiful experience on it. I hope at least. So, uh, yes, Yan VK1608, that's me, and let's make a new game. Empty, like my soul. Um, would you like to start a new game? Yes, sir. This is very wide, huh? This is absolutely wrecking my eyes at the moment. I mean, look at that already. Like, come on. This is straight out of the comic book. This is beautiful. Like, what? <laughs> is that a roach or is that a scarab? Ceremony, quest started. View the quest log. First of all, quest log. So, quest log. Okay. Map. Is that the map? Like, is the map all of this? It is huge. Oh my god. Oh my god. It even goes west. Does it go east? Yes, it does. A little bit. So, those are the settings. Inventory. Bike parts, interesting. Fishing, yes, there's fishing. Clothing and uh, clothing. Ibexy, hey, here's Ibex again. Very well, and child's mask, so we're a child, apparently. Okay, very well. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. So, the ceremony. Am I supposed to do something with this big head? Wait, hold on. There probably was something to do. I should head, head back to camp. Okay, very well. But look at this. Like, this is literally... Literally like a Mobius comic book. And I don't know how the devs and, uh, and the art, art direction people have made it, have made it look so well. Okay, so it's kind of a puzzle game. Jump. Very well. Can I jump up there, for example? Yes, I can. Yes, okay. Cool. And nothing down there. The game kind of seems to seems to struggle. Uh, oh, that's unusual. Hidden crow. 
look at that. Like, yep. So, uh, is gravity go gonna kill me or, uh, let's see. Oh, apparently we're good. Grows again. Wait, can I jump all of that? Or do I have to go it go go down there the safe way? Let's go the safe way, okay? Yeah, because she doesn't seem or he actually. We don't know if it's a he or a she. Hold down to sprint. Wait, I wanna see if I can invert that in controls. Hold to over System controls. Uh, no, I don't. It doesn't seem like I can. Easy fishing. Show controls. There we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Crouch. I want this for crouch, and I want uh, this for crouch for sprint. Sorry, and throw apparently. Uh, safe changes. Yes, please. So now apparently, yeah. Okay. And now I can. Go there. This is beautiful. The game is struggling a little bit, which is kind of odd. Ibex can't like I, I I can't make that that thing up. Like come on, it's made for me. For for those who might not know, I'm doing. Uh, Planet Coaster content in general, and um, Ibex was one of my roller coasters, so that's why I'm so focused on the Ibex thing. And there are uh, Ibexes actually. I can feel Jadi. Jadi? Jadi? Let's say Jadi because Jadi, well, obviously makes me think of Jedi. I can feel Jadi um, smiling behind her mask, just as I know she can feel the teeth bearing a little grimace behind mine. I'm nervous, and she's softly, sweetly amused. In her eyes, I probably have very little to worry about. You know, you have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? I know, I know. So Sable is the, apparently the character that we're playing as. I'll, I tell ja Jadi, yeah, let's say Jadi, that I know, but it hasn't quite sunk in yet. She chuckles. I promise you, Sable, you're fine. But I do know who... Oh my god, sorry. I do know how you are. You're going to be nervous until you've started. And then you'll act like you've been doing it your whole life. Remember, the first time you rode a bike? You wouldn't even let me put you on the seat. <laughs> you were so afraid. Your hands were like little clothes gripping onto me. I feel the memory in my fingers. Okay, so those um, Times New Roman, um, th th this kind of font is essentially thoughts or, uh, you know, novel uh, kind of narration. And uh, the more uh, bold characters are uh, actual dialogue. But then I promised you it was going to be all right. I told you how much I had loved riding my bike as a young woman and how wonderful the wind felt through the, fa the fabric. Suddenly, there you were. You sat down. You lean forward and put those little grasping claws on the handles and you were off. And I remember thinking, just watching you tear over the sand. Look at her. She can do whatever she wants. Jadi reaches out and places a hand on the edge of my mask. And you can, Sable. I take a breath. I 
think I'm ready. I thank Jadi for the encouragement and tell her with a nod that I think I'm ready. I know you are. So let's get oh my god, let's get you oh my god, okay. Let's get you started. You'll need to talk to Hilal and Driss. Driss should should already be oh my god, should have already made the arrangements for your bike. And Hilal will share something. Well, let's say as usual, as it is fun. Hmm? Is that even English? Anyway. I think I might suspect what Jaddy is saying. But I stay quiet. After that, I suppose we'll see you off. I'll be back soon. Sable, don't go planning your return before you've even left. Take all the time you need. It's a big decision you're making out there. I tell her that's why I'm so eager to make it. To choose well and quickly. So that I don't go too far down the wrong path. Whatever you decide, you do so with my blessing. So don't try using me as an excuse to come home early. Huh? It looks like the, the, the sun is setting and everything as well. Like the shadows are moving. I just picked that up. She knows me. Now go speak with Elal. I'll be there to see you off. And speak to Driss as well. I've told him to arrange your bike with Sizzle, but you know how he is. I have something to give you. A compass to help you on your journey. It's the same one I used on my gliding. An artifact, you might say. I take the device in my palm. It fits naturally there, perfectly weighted and crafted. Each component slides together with incredible, satisfying precision. Thank you. Compass, hold the button. Oh! Okay, so this... Okay. Okay, cool. Very well. What's this little robot peel thing? Logging in. Hello, Sable. Unread messages? Zero. Have a good day. Very well. So let's see Hilal. Hello, Hilal. As I approach Hilal, they give an enthusiastic wave. I've always appreciated Hilal's verve and vigor. I don't know what a verve means. And on a day like this, I'm ready to match it. With a touch of nerves for balance. Sable, take this! Gliding stone. Hilal hands me a small round stone as it nestles into my palm. I feel warmth not borrowed from Hilal's hands, but emanating from within. I run my thumb over it and find it softly electric, like static on cloth. I didn't bring anything for you. Hilal give, gives a tinkling laugh. Oh, Sable, you can make up for it when you return someday. What I've just given you is a gliding stone. What do you feel? I tell Hilal that I feel... Connectedness. Then you're doing it, you're doing it right. What you feel in that stone, this is openness. I look at the stone; it seems quite closed. Gliding stones are vessels for the for the perpetual. They suck up its power like little sponges, and hold it there for you to channel. Right now, it's empty or dormant and waiting for you to fill it up. I ask, how can I do this? Take it to the temple ruins at the end of the canyon. You'll be able to activate it there. Hilal ca claps their hands twice and bobs a little. I appreciate their good mood at a time like this. Okay, so do you... They do not have a gender, so they're days, I guess. Come back to me once that's done. I want to hear all about it. As I'm about to leave, Hilal stopped me. 
Oh, you haven't gotten your bag yet, have you? It's a bit of a trek to the temple, so go see Driss. He was meant to get that ready for you, yes? I remember Jaddy's, Jaddy's, sorry, words now and tell Hilal I'll go and see Driss. Very well. And there was something over there. What is it? Some money, I guess. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Oh my god. <laughs> And so Driss was over there, I think. Right? Yes. Hello, Driss. Though I've told myself not to be too eager. It's all I can do. It's all I can do not to race up to Driss. Driss is a camp manager. It's been difficult to get a hold of lately. But no, I strongly suspect that he's been working on my back in secret. Perhaps it's extra beautiful or has some custom features. What will its name be, I wonder? How fast will it go? Will my legs feel sore or will I get used to it? Driss turns for a bit of a start with a bit of a start. Sable Erm Hello Hello, how are you today? I'm well I let it hang there a moment. <laughs> But I can't do it. I'm too keen, and the words spill out. I asked Reese if he might sort of, possibly, maybe, have a bike for me. Your bike! <laughs> he yells. It. He yells it like it's an idea he's just had. Your bike! Yes, of course. Right. Yes, your bike. That is that 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 that, that I was meant to that I prepared for you. Because today is your um. Gliding, yes. Driss nods along with me. Yes, of course, right. Yes, yes, I do have that. Uh, my blood runs cold. Has he forgotten? By which I mean, I arranged it for you. In, um... Well, it's sort of a tutorial for you. A tutorial? Yes, exactly, a learning experience. You see, Sable, before one can own their own bike, they must prove that they can ride a bike by taking a test ride on a different bike. I think about it and find I've never heard of that part of the gliding, but Driss does seem earnest. Sort of. So instead of worrying about your bike, I'd like to try you to I'd like you to try this bike as a test. Driss gestures the, to the sand cutter at his side. It's quite old and a little shabby. A tester if ever I've seen one. I'll give it a go. Really? I mean yes, good. Be be gem be gentle though. This sand cutter's older than Jadi. You treat her with respect. Now, ride the bag through the rings, to the ring, sorry, and back. And here's some advice for you. My own glider. Don't fall off. Don't fall off. Very well. So, oh my god, I have... So, slicing... Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm on a good thing. Accelerate, strafe. Okay, one, two, three, and let's go. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Oh, I thought this was gonna be. Okay, so this straight thing. that. I return to Driss, who somehow manages to seem caught off guard despite knowing I was coming. 
Sable, congratulations. How was your first free glide ride? And it's strange rattles? Unexplained hissing? Small fires? What do you mean, fires? Surely you'd notice if you were on fire. Even a little bit. Was that a possibility? Well, obviously it didn't happen, so I think we're fine. Tris, is this... No. We're gonna play it cool, right? Everything sounded normal. Well, the sun color mode is like you then. It's usually a little bit more temperamental with the new riders, but you're not even a little bit on fire. Have you already been in a, by Halal? Am I not getting a bike? Well, you're getting the use of this sand cutter. That's something, eh? You can borrow it to run your little errands. My little errands. And Hilal's got something to show you. Help you out with more of that um, mobility you're after. With my confidence in, in this exercise only lightly tarnished, I thank Driz very much for helping and his bike. And I depart for Hilal. Uh, we've already been to Hilal, right? Let's follow this quest. That that was the quest from uh, from Hilal. Very well. So it's over there. Whoa. <laughs> It seems like a really um, like a very chill game, and that's what I was hoping, to be honest. All right, is there uh, an official entrance, or uh, do I have to climb my way up? No, looks like I have to climb my way up. Very well. supposed to go right or maybe not actually let's check the map yeah actually it looks like it is okay uh, uh. oh I can climb that way ah uh, no okay. oh okay so I can climb doing this there's also this sort of ruin over there. I'm really curious. I'm extremely into uh, the games that really value your curiosity and your will to discover things. So that's why I wanted to try this game. It's something I really value in, in a game in general. That's why I really liked um, Outer Wilds. What is this? Who are you? Hi. Chumheg. Oh, okay. Okay. Offered up by chumps when planting themselves into the ground. Perfectly smooth and hard as a rock. These eggs seem to float with how light they are. There must be a good place to, to deliver this. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Very well. Jump eggs then. Whoa, what's going on? Crows again. 
look at that like it's such a simple art style but it works you you know it's not the most beautiful art style like the most realistic i mean but it certainly is beautiful actually all right whoa there's also a crow over there very well that's where i'm supposed to go right yes Yep, that scared me. <laughs> Good job, game. Good job. All right. I have to get back up there somehow. This place will probably be where I'm supposed to go. I hope. Whoa. The stone thrums, like... Oh, thrums, okay, so that's a verb. Like at the beat of a heart as I approach the altar. Maybe it feels right. I am ready for Rohana, Rohana to know me. I am ready to know myself. I feel her curiosity in this sacred place. I know I am in her sight. This was beautiful. Oh, 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 what? Okay. <laughs> So the stone is charred up. Char oh my god, charged up now. What's this stone called again? Let me see that. Um, inventory. No. Oh, so that's a, considered a key. Gliding stone. The compass, right? Very well. Oh. Got you. That's what a gliding stone is supposed to be. <laughs> that is so cool. Okay. Do you think somehow I can get to this thing? And then climbing it up? Probably. Yeah, okay. Cool. This is way more focused on platforming than Outer Wild, but I'm not against it, actually. I mean, I was not expecting another Outer Wilds, but I was so expecting, you know, something beautiful, a beautiful story, really. I mean, come on. 
I'd like. This is so cool. Look at that, I'm, I'm gliding. And back to the bike. have to do now. Uh, show hello. Deactivated flight still. So Halal was over there, right? What is this? Oh, that might be my bike, actually. Hello again, Halal. When I return to Halal, it's clear they know what I've just experienced. They're excited on my behalf in a way that makes me miss them more miss them before i've even left isn't it incredible how does it feel uh safe like a warm hug yes actually uh, i tell hilal that i feel almost embraced by the perpetual warm and safe in my own little bubble they swoon Oh, that's such a nice way of describing me. D d d d d d yeah. <laughs> Halal's mood doesn't darken, but the sigh they let out holds a bit of sorrow. You're very lucky, you know. I miss it so much, that feeling. Just floating on the breeze. But I suppose it's best that it fades with age. Hmm? Or else I might have never have come back. From my gliding. I'd just be out there heaving myself into chasms. I wish we could all do it. So do I, Sable. So do I. I know people manage to keep it up, but I don't know that. I've got the time to practice as much as they do. It takes a really serious focus. Hilal laughs. Even if there's a bit of regret in it. And... I certainly haven't got that. Still, I suppose the gliding wouldn't mean much if it were all gains and no loss. Hmm? I think about that, but decide that there's already too much loss on my mind to consider it much further. I am saying goodbye to my clan, to my family, to my home, my childhood. To lose the perpetual is a sacrifice for another time. You're, do you're going to love it out there, Sable. Even when you don't. My advice, try to have fun. There's a lot to be said about ritual and independence and all of that out there. But the world's an easier place if you put joy first. I thank Hilal for their advice and for their help and tell them I'll miss them. It'll be over before you know it. A warning and a reassurance all in one. I say goodbye to Hilal. Before I go, 
Hillel gestures towards the tower. It seems Cizo wishes to see me before I leave the clan. Very well. Let's go see Cizo then. Something for me? Logging in. Hello, Sable. Unread messages? No. Okay, very well. that you look cool Cizo is an outlander for to the Ibexi but I've known her for nearly as long as I can recall and think of her more as a kind of distant relation than any sort of a, of outsider mechanists I'm told are given their posts and by their training and their code they must go to where they are needed but Cizo has been among us for so long that it's easy to forget it's an assignment first and foremost. As far as any of us are concerned, she is one of us. I think there is a perception among the other clans that the Ibexi are quite insular, or that our designation of Ibexi versus Outclanners suggests some nervous othering of those who are unlike us. But in practice, such things are more the result of our nomadic nature. Nomadic nature? Whatever. We seek to know who will travel with us and who we must leave behind. But all are welcome to join. And I'm always pleased that Cizo did. Sable, how do you do, clan child? I can only think of one thing. Excited for my bike. Cizo has a throaty quality to her voice, and it rumbles through her mask when she laughs. She's quite a serious person most days, and I am always torn between pride and alarm when I manage to make her chuckle. Yes, Jadi told me how excited you were. I know it's supposed to be a woman, but come on, it's totally somebody really serious so Cizo sniffs she also told me Driss would be coming along to get your bag together but I think he may have I knew it what I hadn't meant to say that out loud so I tell her that I was just clearing my throat I don't begrudge Driss for his forgetfulness. Were I tasked with so many odds and ends, I might be just as scattered. And besides, this will be good for you. I want you to scavenge the other bike parts yourself. That sounds like an adventure, yeah. I tell Cizo, I like the sound of that. A little adventure before my big one. It's more meaningful that you know. To bond with one's bag before it has taken form is more privilege than labor. Here, take this. Cizo hands me something, the navigator. This is a navigator. You can use it to mark waypoints on your compass. It should be useful in finding the old parts. I asked Cizo where I might start looking. Our bikes are reborn in the ruined ships in fragments spread apart. A good start would be the ship down there, near the camp. You'll find another up uh, on that great route. Yeah, we saw that earlier. Near the other side of the game. And another behind the whole, the old dam on the hill. Use your navigator to mark that down if you need. You'll need to gather a control panel, a power supply, and a calibrator. I'll be back before you knew it. I tell Cizo I'll see her soon and head off in search of the components. Together, we will create something new out of the old. Beautiful. I want to see that person over there. So use your navigator. Oh! 
Oh my god. Okay. Place a marker. Right. I want to see that person first. Whoever you are, I'm coming to you. Hello. Oh, you're a child. The balloon was more fun than the person in it. What? <laughs> I approached the cartographer. Ah, greetings, child. I saw you looking longingly at my great balloon. Quite a piece of work, isn't she? She really is. I nod, enthusiastically. It really is imp an impressive vessel, however nervous I get imagining being up there all alone. I wonder if anyone's ever fallen off of one. That's not to ask right now. Well, good to meet you, and... Oh, I should introduce myself, I'm Jordan. I tell him, I'm Sable, I'm Sable, oh my god. Suppose if you've come all this way to see me, it's probably a map you're after, eh, Sable? I... I would love a map. Of course you would. That'll be 50 cuts. To my ears, it's a fair price for a map, but too expensive for free gliding glider with empty pockets. I tell Jordan that I'll be back. I'll need to ask for Jaddy for some money. Farewell, child. Actually, I don't. I genuinely don't. Like, I'm making my own money, really. Who are you? As she looks out across the landscape, Zeki's shoulders sag a little. I wonder what she's thinking about. Something on your mind? Zeki's voice is weakly, uh, weakly incredulous. I don't know how she's done it. That's Ilaria over there. Over there? Over where? Over there. Like, Ilaria is the kid, right? I follow her gaze to a little speck in the distance, which is now I which I understand is her daughter, Ilaria. Do you want me to get her back? She shakes her head. No, she's fine. And I'll get her. I'm just... She shrugs. Parenting. I suppose I'll know more about that when I'm older. <laughs> cool. It's very really cool. All right. Where's our bike again? Okay, right. It's down there. So, let's find the parts. So, yo, oh, this is so cool. This, 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 this art style is just so talking to me. Like I do not know why. There's nothing of use to be found in the ship, but I notice a blinking light flashing on the dashboard of the cockpit. Push the button. A voice crackles from the mi from the machinery in front of me. It sounds like a recording. It's barely audible. Stop messing about with those buttons, you absolute idiot. Okay, sorry, Ramen. Concentrate. I don't think I have to remind you how much work it as it was to get this far. We're almost there. All right, let's see if what that old machinist told us holds up. If not, there'll be hell to pay. I hear the sound of, of mechanical adjustments being made. Three clicks. 
buttons being pressed, perhaps. Okay, when I push this orange thing, pull that lever. Pull that lever. Hard. Yes, Ramin? The sound of a click and a loud grunt before snapping sound. Oh, on Rohana's mask! Not that hard! You've torn it out! Suddenly, the speakers are filled with static and a low rumble that gradually increases in peach, in pitch. In peach. <laughs> Sorry. And then the sound, the sounds of something, of someone cheering. It worked! We're flying! More cheering. Is that the sound of someone dancing? Okay, okay, let's focus. This thing is f moving fast. We need to slow it down a bit. How do we do that, Ramin? Let me check the mechanist's notes. A long pause, the rumbling static sound that started playing when the ship took off is still increasing in pitch. Ramen? That lever, Toma. The one you just ripped out. We're going too fast. We're going to crash. We need to try to... The recording cuts up there. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, let me just get my thumbnail here. Or actually, here. Let's cover that blue thing. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. So, is there really nothing here that I can use? No, there isn't. Okay, well... Ah! What's happening? <laughs> Who are you? Saima. Are you looking for a calibrator? I am immediately on guard. Saima has always been a mischief maker and taken tremendous pleasure in tormenting me. In theory, I am older, more experienced and should be more than able to withstand it. In practice... You won't find it here. I've hidden it. You'll never find it. Never, never. She never fails to get me. May I please have it? I decide to be gentle and I ask her, may I please have it? May I please have it? She mimics me terribly. All high and screechy, despite my best efforts, I see. Oh, well, too bad. Maybe you'll find it on your own, but I don't think so. <laughs> Simon laughs with laughs off my irritation, but I'm not going to give her the satisfaction. I cross my arms and try to effect a change. I'll give you the calibrator. I put my hand out, proud of myself for standing tall before Simon. If you give me some beetles, that's a fair trade, isn't it? Something you want for something I want. I try to decide if it's more mature to push her over and steal the calibrator or to acquiesce. But then I simply stifle, stifle, whatever, stifle a sigh and shake her little hand. Perhaps some of the adults in the camp know where I can find some. Okay. <laughs> yep. Okay, so Ibex camp. Move the marker. How was it? Wait, wait, wait. Well, I can locate myself pretty well, to be honest. So, or at least I think, I honestly do not know, um, but we'll see, <laughs> we'll see, honestly. Oh my god, look at the statues! That is so cool that there was something over there, so I need to check it out. If I even can. 
Well, don't know if I can, but at least there's something here. Cool, now I can buy the map. Oh, so probably the cartographer. There's a cartographer. You, can you guys hear me over this thing? Um, with the cartographer, uh, there is probably um, one in every single area because this map seems to be divided in uh, in well lands in regions, you know. So it wouldn't surprise me if there were um, a cartographer like uh, how Assassin's Creed works with uh, the synchronization thingy. I've also seen, yeah, this thing over there. You think I can get there? Let's see. Yes. Okay. Cool. Hello. <laughs> Those things are so weird. And yes, the cartographer. Wait, the beetles. There was a beetle in the skull at the beginning of the game, wasn't there? Like over there, in the big temple. Nah, I'm probably trying too hard. Anyway, I'm gonna try to get back to the cartographer. Hello again. Come and climb. There we go. Oh, there's something over there as well. There's something everywhere. Like, everywhere I want to explore. This is really Outer Wilds all over again. Hello again. I know. But I... I don't I have some? Like, wait. Inventory. Uh, fishing, no. Isn't the cuts like this little, um, square thingy at the bottom of the screen? Maybe not. Okay. Well, we've wasted our time. Great. Uh, ships of old. Beetle detour. Ask around. <laughs> uh,. Wait, this guy obviously needs to know where the beetles are. Umar is a man of few words, and he's nothing if not consistent. Okay, very well. So you weren't the guy to ask, I guess. Look at the hypexes! Let's ask uh, Driss, actually. Hi, Driss. For that awful little timer, yes. Do you know where I can find some beetles? There's a nest of beetles just east of there. You can just walk up to catch... to one and catch it, no. There's some seeds growing in the, on the rocks be, around the nest. Drop seed on the floor and the beetle will start eating it. Then you can sneak up and grab it. Driss asks me a series of increasing, increasingly strange questions before I make an excuse to take my leave. Free beetles! Here's our hiding place. Whoa, there's something beneath the village. What? What is that? Oh. Ibexi red dye. The dye bottle for the colors of the Ibexi red bike. Cool. Cool, cool. So, where did it say the... 
that's going to be done. I'm going to wait for your people to catch one. I have to distract with some food. How do I get some food, though? I will try to ask um, Jadi for some money then. Oh. Well, <laughs> that's one way to do it. Uh, let's see if you know anything about beetles. I could ask about catching beetles, but for that awful <laughs> Yeah, let's go. Uh, do you know where I can find some beetles? East of there, but you can... Yeah. Just east of there. So east. North is here, so east is over there. Okay, first of all, let's talk to, ja to Jadi. Hey again. Um, wait, aren't you Jadi? No, you're not. Ah, yes, actually, you can. Okay, I tell Jadi that the cartographer wants. 50 cuts for a map of the Ewer. I try to hedge the way I speak about this, as I'm not entirely sure whether that's too much, not enough, or precisely its value. She tells me not to worry. So I had enough! Come on, here's some money to get you going on your journey. Use it mostly wisely, and then, a little unwisely when the mood strikes, it's good to know the value of money, but you never want to be ruled by it. True words. True words. I thank Jadi effusively and head out on my way. Cartographer! I'm back! Again! child. I'll buy that map. Perfect, let's trade then. Select, confirm. And there we go. I think Jordan for the UR map and all its vast possibilities. Something about this makes, makes it make it feel more real. Good luck on your gliding sable. I still remember mine. I ask how it was. Short, I knew since I was a boy that cartography was for me, but I spent a little extra time out there just to enjoy the world. Speaking of, keep an eye on the skies, eh? Plenty of my colleagues out there, and they'll have more maps to sell you. From Aqua to, so to the Sodic Waste, I thank Jordan for the tip and say goodbye. So yeah, that's definitely going to be... Um, same thing as um, as our um, the synchronization points in Assassin's Creed. So that's good to know. Uh, uh, yeah. Right, 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 right. Uh, can I zoom? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so. So I'm here. Those are where the statues, I guess. This is the dam. This is the big temple. This is where I was with the gliding stone. And this is the other ship part. So, east of there. Just east of there. So, east would be over here, I would guess. Right? Yes. I love this idea of exploring the thing, like it's so cool. I, I, I love exploring games.
Butterfly. If you guys have visited Simple Park, you guys know that I love Simple... Um, yes, I do love Simple Park, but I love Butterflies as well. Oh, there's another one of those things. Chum. <laughs> Those things have so much personality, but I don't understand what they are. Like, come on, look at that. This game is beautiful. In every way, like... I was expecting some kind of beauty... ...going in, but uh not as beautiful as that like this to me is so much more beautiful than a realistic game because the you know realism is really something that becomes old at a certain point this doesn't like it's um in temporal if is that even a word in in english i i don't know it's a, it's a word in french but sometimes i will use some french words um in English because I think that oh <gasps> there they are because I think they are the same but not sure come over here get over <laughs> here <laughs> where can I get those seeds though Are those the seeds? How can I get there? Yes! You're mine! <laughs> you too! <laughs> That's so cool! Yeah, we got him. Okay, cool. Let's go back to the kid now. <laughs> that was a little fun, actually. I enjoyed myself way too much. <laughs> but that's the game. That's what you're supposed to do. Ibex camp. I love that this thing is named Ibex. Hello again. I feel embarrassingly vindicated that as I hand <laughs> Saima the beetles, but rather than gloat, she hands me the calibrator and begins to cry. What have I done? You're leaving! You're leaving and you'll never come back! She blows her nose and then wipes her hand on her tunic. Yara never came back after the glass gliding. Aren't you sad? You were a friend. Let's say that I miss her too, even though I do not know who she is. Um, she might visit again someday. I know, let's say I miss her too, because the question was directed at us. There's been a letter here and there, but it is always to us rather than to me. I'm not bitter, but I hope not to be like that. Please, don't go. I tell Saima not to worry. 
that I will be back sooner than she knows, and I'm sure she pops be behind the mask. And I had that if I am not back sooner than she knows, then she will be ready for her gliding by then, and she can come bother me herself. Promise? I say yes. Good. Then I suppose I can come see you off. I thank her and say goodbye for now. Finally, okay. We've got one of those. Now, you can see this big red, uh, red, red thing in the distance. I think we're going to go there now. I first want to explore those, those ruins over there. I think I've been there, haven't I? Not sure, let's see. Come on, Sable. You can do it. There you go. Aha! I knew it. <laughs> Those things are so strange, like, so strange. The thing is, this place already feels huge, but when you look at the map, it's only a tiny, tiny point on the bigger map, which is insane to think about. I can even see mountains in the distance over there. This game I thought was going to be really short, but I feel like it's going to be absolutely huge. Absolutely enjoying myself, I'm gonna tell you that. <laughs> this is such a bad bike, like come on. Oh my god. That was a shot over there. I need oh <laughs> Stop focusing on on thumbnails. Let's climb all the way up there. I think I can climb all the way up there. It might be a little bit too high. Uh, no, just the right amount. Okay, cool. Anything over there? It's so cool because you can climb all the surfaces. Which is why, well, at least probably why, we're in this uh, huge canyon sort of environment. over there oh yeah there's another camp probably another car cartographer that was where we were earlier whoop, whoop, whoop. okay <laughs> Atomic power supply. Atomic! <laughs> Get away from there! Is that working? Aha, this is. Very well. I mean, 
look at that. Like, come on. This is beautiful. Like, this is the kind of game you just stop to admire, you know? This is something I loved about Outer Wilds. It was so introspective. Way Come on, bubble. And bubble. And there you go. And now, finally, you can go to the dam. Yeah, you can st 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 still see me trying to get a, a decent thumbnail. But let's be honest, you can get a thumbnail from pretty much every angle on this game, especially because there's no HUD. So we're back here now, but for the dam. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, this thing struggles. And, whoa. Let's park it here. Okay, very well. So, the dam. What's in the dam? Yep, you can still see me trying to get a thumbnail because I'm gonna get a thousand thumbnail, <laughs> different thumbnail. This is what I do with uh, with most of my videos, to be honest. I always get a thousand thumbnails. Uh oh. No, okay, that's good. That's good. That's a good thing. Yeah, but yeah, I always get a, a thousand thumbnails. Just to finally choose one. Sometimes I will actually... Um, this place is huge, like, come on. I will actually change the thumbnail once it's posted, which is not something that is a regular occurrence. There's something over there as well, like, what? This place is huge, like, I was totally expecting, like, a lot of empty space. But everywhere feels, um, complete, you know what I mean? Okay, so what's in there? Whoa, this is a huge place. Aha! So now I have the thing. Is there anything else? No, it doesn't seem like it. see if there's more in this place. There probably will be. Do you think I can climb up? Whoop, whoop, whoop. No, okay. Stay down, stay down, stay down. You're good. Okay, now you can do it. Come on, come on. I believe in you, Sable. Yes, okay, cool, cool, cool. There are more beetles over there. No, th those are actually crows. Okay. Oh, 
What are those over there? Aha! I knew there was something over there. Another chum egg. Is that like the fourth or the fifth? Fifth. That's what I thought. What are those over there? Looks like a um, um, an ofrenda. That. Yeah, it's only money. Whoop. Look at that, like the sun and everything, it's beautiful. Anything with the boats? No, doesn't seem like there is. Very well, let's go back to the bike then. The nighttime and the daytime feels. They both feel so different. Come on. You can do it, Sable. This is way faster. Okay. And the, the, the music is pretty good as well. Again, pretty chill. It's obviously not the... The Outer Wilds. Uh, I, I'm gonna compare this game a lot to Outer Wilds, I'm, I'm sure. Because it, it has a lot of the same vibes. But it's not the same art style, if that makes sense both musically and uh, visually. And in the way you can play it as well, in the gameplay I mean. And so Cizo was on top of that big tower over there. Ibex Camp. I never tire of seeing Ibex camp written on my screen. It's a great opportunity to get a thumbnail if everything is under the sun. Come on, Sable. Is there any way I can hide the white thing in a cloud? Perhaps? No, not at all. Well, actually, I think we'll stop this episode right there because it's been a, it's been probably my longest first episode for a Baggett Place because I've I've been loving it so much. Like, it's got so much character by saying so little as well. It's beautiful in the way it's it's working, and I hope you guys liked it because I sure did. And if you did, do leave a like and tell me in the comments why you liked it. Also consider subscribing, because obviously this is the first episode, and personally, I want to see more about this game. I want to do it all right now, because it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's got me. It's, yeah, I'm, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm in love yet, but it's pretty close. It, it's pretty close. But I really like this, so thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Yan, your favorite friend in Frenchman, and I'll see you guys in the next one. A bientôt!